if you're choosing a song to sing for an audition as a pop singer and you're going to go for pop, please think of the song that you're choosing, even what it's carrying in terms of poetry. Yeah? And I think that's where now the art comes in. What are you singing? What is this song singing about? Who are we talking about? Is it just what? And that in itself will, will see you being a darling of the most judges or not. Of course, in, in, in art singing or in auditions for singers, it depends, of course, what, what uh, you are auditioning for. Is it a, a, um, an opera production or is it a musical? You know, all these things, yeah? And so, obviously, your choice of repertoire will also depend on that. But at the end of the day, there's the cutting across where, you know, the good technique will always sell you. You know, how you control your voice. When you're choosing, especially with pop singers, be very careful, and the younger ones, I always tell them, you know, your voice is developing, especially if you're a teenager, you know, from the age of 14, your lung capacity increases. And so you, you all of a sudden think, oh my God, I can sing big. So then you're preoccupied with the, with the Adele's of this world. I mean, she, she's a beautiful writer and also singer herself. But there are some things you have to research uh, about some of these popular singers and how even they do their style. Mm -hmm. Is that style they're using very healthy? Have you ever researched from some of those and realized that they have problems, mm -hmm. vocal problems? Have you ever done? There was a feature some time, some time ago that was going uh, on about mute singers. Did anyone see that feature? Yeah. What did it? What did it say? Uh, one of the people they mentioned was Adele because yes. of her losing her voice because of the way she sings. Exactly. And what is that way that makes mute singing? Just means that you lose your voice all the time. Yeah. After you finish entertaining and people are paying millions of dollars, mm -hmm. your voice, your main instrument is lost. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I remember when Adele first hit, I was teaching a girl. That was the first album I had. Was Adele 19. How old is she now? that I was teaching someone with that album. And I remember now Adele had just hit. And, and now I told this student of mine, hey, let me just be honest. The way I'm hearing this thing going on, I, I'm not a, 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 a professor or a prophet of doom. But this singer, at how old she, she's 19? Okay, they need to be very careful with how they're using their, vocal, their voice. Because this overbelting is going to take a toll. Right now, at a younger age, when you're a teenager, into your early 20s, you feel you're safe. It's exactly the same way we feel, we feel about, for us who are older, about dieting and eating everything you want. You know, you're just like, I'm here, I can eat 10 chakos, I'm 16, and I burn like this. You feel nothing, yeah? You <laughs> feel nothing. If I eat 10 chakos, a whole mountain of Ugali, three cuckoos, you know, the thing. You are doing competition with others, all the ice cream in the world, whatever. Hey, lo and behold, the years of you are now bad. <laughs> Ask again. She might give you a story about that. Because I think she's gone through a few procedures to, to correct some of those bad habits that came up when she was growing up when she was younger, you understand? Yeah. But just to be fair to her, you know, I don't think she had formal training. No, she did not. In fact, she stumbled upon. And that is why for you who have stumbled, I told you with me, I learned a bit of Joakali. But one thing that has put, given me ground is because I always want to learn. Mm -hmm. I'm a learner first. So I asked myself, eh, okay, even if I want to do this, I study other people how they're doing their things. The famous pop singers, classical singers, what is it that that is good about this, and what is, how do I develop uh, myself to get to this level, to be able to do this in a good way, and to develop my art. So, those are some of the things. So you're thinking about your range. Uh, we always say, with pop singing especially, because usually there's a tendency to sing very low. Why? Because of uh, that belting. You understand? So pop singers, one of the things they lose is range if you're predominantly preoccupied with singing pop. So you, you hardly can hit your highs, eh? And you know why it's important to have your high notes in your range. Therefore, you are climax. Yeah, that's when everyone goes, in. wow, did you hear that note? They just hit at a high and they stayed there and they were comfortable. You know, those are things that matter. So if everyone's doing on auditions and you're all, all you've been doing is singing low, 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 low notes, eh? That takes a toll on your high notes, the high part of the register. So it's not good. And so also, even if you love to sing pop songs, try to, to get a variety. It's very important.